As a committee, we've taken that decision that we are against the giveaway and that everything possible should be done in order to recover the land that is being given away. But there is a very serious challenge that we are facing on this, which I guess you are already aware, that uh, the matter went to court, NFA versus the New Kingdom that are taking away. There is also another unfortunate bit that the, those who are planning to plant sugar, sugar cane, that they've got the uh, uh, environmental ESA, environmental mm -hmm. and social impact assessment, partly approved by NEMA, which we, which we also find very disturbing. We also suggesting that uh, government should use its land acquisition powers under Article 26 of the Constitution to save Bogoma forest. Many years ago there was a big fight and the government was very, very, very committed and, very, and fought very, very hard to make Kibale or Kibale National Forest a national park. Mm -hmm. It was difficult because there were people living in the forest, but somehow the issue was sorted out. And now Kibale is protected, it's part of the Queen Elizabeth National Park, it's something that nobody will ever really... Could maybe Bogoma be considered for an upgrade if the National Forest Authority is not as strong as uh, the, the, the Uganda Wildlife Authority or the ministry in charge to protect the, this, uh, this key asset for the country forever. Mm. Couldn't maybe the upgrading into a national park be a solution from a national forest to upgrade it, put under the responsibility of somebody who has the means, the strength, the ability, the, uh, the vision for this kind of work? Another possibility, this is a legal thing. Mm. Maybe there is a way. Mm.